Hello, hello, Cancers. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to Queen Cancer Tarot Channel. I am the host. My name is Catherine. I'm here to bring you clarity, guidance, and love messages. I have timeless readings for all of our lovely Cancers, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. This is a general love reading, so take the energy how it resonates with yours and the person closest to you. If you are new to the channel, make sure you are subscribed to the channel by clicking on that watermark that's in the bottom right corner of your screen. You can also click on the subscribe button, you guys, in the description box below. That will allow your energy to flow freely through the messages that I bring on a regular basis. Also, Cancers, you will be entered in your chance to win automatically by subscribing every single month I do a giveaway on the channel and I will post winners in the description box below so you can check that information out to see if you're a winner all right um, also you can check the schedule to see typically what types of readings I post and approximately when I post you guys I do try to post on a regular basis on a daily basis um, so please check out the schedule and I am trying to get on a more regular schedule you all so please bear with me all right cancers let's get started we're going to be doing cancers versus the water signs we're going to do something different today i'm going to deal out four cards for each sign cancer okay i guess we're going to start with cancer versus cancer with the chariot but i'm going to deal out four cards for each sign cancer scorpio and pisces and then i'll go over each of the signs okay you guys so we're going to do them all at the same time and one by one okay so just let's see how this format works you tell me if you like it all right so let's deal the cards out for cancer and scorpio and pisces tell us about cancer dealing with the cancer please holy spirit angels and guides what's there is more guidance okay so we're gonna stop at cancer the cards are telling me to stop at cancer and we're going to do the time stamps and it's funny because we have the chariot and the queen of cups so these cards are making a loud statement i can tell you that much the chariot and the queen of cups and then we have the hanged man and the Ace of Cups in the reverse. Okay, so Cancer is dealing with the Cancer. You have the Chariot and the Queen of Cups and the Hanged Man and the Ace of Cups in the reverse. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to deal out all, all of the cards, and then we'll go over each story, okay? So I'll have the timestamps as I start each of um, each of the signs, okay? Holy Spirit, tell me about Cancer dealing with the Scorpio, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. More clarity, more guidance, more love messages. So you have the lovers in the reverse and temperance. And then we have the hermit and the two of pentacles. Okay, now let's deal for Cancer and Pisces. To 
Angels of Out Cancer is dealing with the Pisces, please. Holy Spirit, Angels and Guides, Accounts of Out Cancer and Pisces, please. Holy Spirit, Angels and Guides, tell us. Okay. So we have the Eight of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands in the reverse. And then we have the star in the reverse and the ten of swords in the reverse. And this says everything is fine. So we're going to be starting with Cancer, okay? So now is when I start the timestamps, you guys. We're going to be going over each of the signs, okay? And I am going to be clarifying with this deck right here, okay? Okay, one second. Let me fix the camera. Okay, Cancers, thank you for bearing with me. I am back. I got my coffee, I got my wand, and I'm ready to go. So we are now going to do um, the clarification for each of these. So with this chariot and this queen of cups here, um, if you're dealing with another Cancer, um, what we have going on here is this Cancer, and I feel like this is your energy cancer here with both the chariot and the queen of cups. This is all very strong cancerian energy. Um, but you are looking into this cup. And of course, if you're dealing with the cancer, it could be your person as well. Um, very true here. But you also have the hangman and the ace of cups in the reverse here. So you do have a lot of water energy here. Um... But there's been a separation, Cancer, with this Queen of Cups. This Queen of Cups is staring down into this cup. Staring down into this cup and looking back here at this chariot. And the chariot represents an energy of you moving forward, you knowing um, where you were headed with your person. You were both making plans for a future together and you were moving forward with your person with the hanged man cancer and the ace of cups in the reverse there has been a separation between you and your person um the ace of cups in the reverse can also talk about an emotional loss or someone who is not being honest um emotionally cancer so there could be some sort of an affair taking place but either way it's like somebody left the connection stalled the connection and and kept someone waiting here so let's clarify tell us about cancer dealing with cancer please holy spirit angels and guides tell us about cancer dealing with cancer please Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Tell us about cancers and dealing with another cancer, please. Tell us about the chariot. Okay. And we have the page of wands here. So again, this is an energy of you moving forward with your person. Um, but with this page of wands energy, that is the energy of somebody who is... um 
very excited um, but it's like as things start to go on it's like you know they it's like it phases out a little bit the excitement of it wears tends to wear off some hair cancer underneath the deck you have the three of wands the three of wands and this is four wands cancer so again this is somebody who was very excited i feel like you were on your way towards solid commitment with this person four wands represents solid commitment that is like you know you getting the ring you planning the wedding and you know looking at houses together cancer this is like you and your person on your way um but i feel like there was definitely an energy of someone stalling here tell us about this queen of cups please the holy spirit angels and guides and we have the five of swords and the ace of cups the five of swords and the ace of cups cancer so i feel like there was an energy where somebody found someone new or someone new came into the picture cancer when with this five of swords this represents a conflict um this represents arguments cancer um and i feel like this person you know had you in a situation with a third party or this could be you doing this to your person cancer underneath the deck we have the hierophant okay this says rooted here in this deck this hierophant it says rooted so this is definitely someone who is rooted in their beliefs um someone who believes in a higher power um also someone who believes in marriage cancer um and i feel like this is like the ultimate letdown for you um this is the ultimate letdown for you cancer because i feel like you were really 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 set on this taking place because it's very important to you um but things are stalled here cancer with this hangman tell us about this hangman please holy spirit angels and guides tell us and we got the hermit how did i know i would get that typically when i see the hangman i get the hermit this is somebody who is waiting and contemplating cancer waiting and contemplating this person is um you know stalling the connection but they're thinking about something cancer and again this ace of cups very much represents new love here and we saw this here as well you also have the ace of cups here cancer in the upright so i feel like this person found someone new here cancer but with the ace of cups in the reverse here i feel like there is going to be a disappointment of some kind like this person is going to find out that it is not what they thought okay the grass is not as green as they thought it was on the other side you see how these cards have green in them cancer all of these cards have green in them all of these cards but now after your person walked away or you walked away cancer it's dark now it's dark so let's see underneath the deck here with this hermit you have the eight of pentacles here and i feel like this person is trying to come up with a way to get back on top or come up with a way to um make themselves better or to heal themselves after this um this could very much be your energy cancer i feel like this is the energy of where you are currently um but tell us about this ace of cups in the reverse please let me 
tell us about the Ace of Cups in the reverse, Holy Spirit, Angels, and Guides. Tell us about the Ace of Cups in the reverse. And we have the Four of Pentacles. So I feel like there's an energy of somebody who was, um, somebody who was very guarded about this, uh, situation with this person cancer i feel like there is going to be an energy of this person denying it or trying to hide hide this from you under the deck we have the eight of cups cancer and this represents you walking away this represents whatever this energy is with this emotional um, lie cancer or this uh, miscommunication um, about this new person cancer. And this five of swords, this represents mind games. So it could be that this person was, this person could have been saying that they were committed to you cancer when the whole time this person was talking to someone else the whole time this person was talking to someone else um and with again with the eight of cups here cancer it's this is too much for you to handle so i do see you walking away from this person all right moving on to scorpio 1643 all right so we have the lovers in the reverse and temperance. Can we see that? The lovers in the reverse and temperance. We have three major arcana here. We have the hermit and the two of pentacles. So cancers, if you are dealing with the Scorpio, this is your energy here. Now with the lovers, this represents Adam, Eve, and the snake, or some temptation, cancer. Um, something that is affecting the relationship or the connection, okay, that you have with your person. Some outside factor that is infiltrating the relationship or the connection, okay? And when the lovers is in the reverse, this energy has taken over okay it has taken over it has come in somebody has given in to this temptation cancer and now there is a disconnect okay with temperance this is an energy of someone wanting to balance things out right because the lovers in the upright talks about balance here so this is a very this is an energy of trying to get things back right again cancer all right now with the hermit and the two of pentacles cancer this is an energy of somebody who is um thinking about um what's important to them cancer with the two of pentacles like this is definitely an energy of somebody who is uh has a decision to make um that is difficult cancer um but this person is trying to figure things out um i see with this hermit it's like this person is looking at a laptop here this could be an energy and then you have the two of pentacles here This could be an energy cancer where if you're with the Scorpio, I feel like you saw something online about this Scorpio and now you're going back and forth trying to decide whether or not you want to bring it to this person because temperance also talks about someone being very quiet. I feel like there's an energy of this person did something cancer. You found out about it. Um, you're not saying anything to your person and you're going back and forth with the decision on 
whether or not to come out and say something. The hermit is also an energy of somebody who is very quiet and keeps things to themselves, Cancer. So, whatever it was that you saw, okay, um, about your person or whatever it was your person did, you are not saying anything about it yet. Um, let's clarify. So that's pretty specific. Tell us about Cancer and Scorpio, please. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Tell us about Cancer and Scorpio. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Tell us about the lovers in the reverse, please. Holy Spirit. Mm. Oh, that one in the reverse. We have the Ten of Swords in the reverse. And we have the Four of Swords in the reverse, Cancer. You know, the Ten of Swords in the reverse talks about somebody who is reaching out, trying to fix a situation because they messed up. With the Four of Swords in the reverse, Cancer, the person on the other side is not wanting to hear anything from this person okay they are not speaking to this person they are not wanting this person to apologize they don't want to hear from this person right now um so i do feel like cancer whatever it is that you saw you are away from your person while you're deciding whether or not you want to forgive this person or not um underneath the deck you have the ace of wands cancer i feel like Whatever it was that you saw, I feel like it has something to do with this person um, either sleeping with someone, Cancer, or texting someone, um, you know, in a sexual way. Um, but the Ace of Wands, this talks about passion. Um, this could be a one-night stand, Cancer. You could have uh, read a text message or an email. Um, but, yeah. Uh, let's see. Tell us about temperance here. I feel like this person is now trying to pressure you to forgive them because they know that you know, but you haven't said anything. Tell us about temperance, please. Well, we have the magician and the five of pentacles, Cancer. What did I tell you? The magician and the five of pentacles. This person, Cancer, is trying to manifest forgiveness this person does not want you to leave them out in the cold cancer this person does not want you to leave them out in the cold underneath the deck look at what we have the chariot that is your energy you are this person knows that you're packing your bags and you're pretty much on your way i feel like you've already left cancer um i feel like but i feel like you're not speaking to this person I feel like you're not speaking to this person. Um, I do feel like, Cancer, you are going back and forth in your mind about whether or not you want to forgive this person with the Hermit and the Two of Pentacles. Because this is somebody thinking to themselves and going back and forth with something. Um, but let's see. Tell us about this Hermit, please. Holy Spirit, angels and guides. Tell us about the Hermit. And we have, oh, three cards came out. I'm going to go ahead and take them, Cancer. Um, we have the Strength card, the Knight of Cups, and the Emperor. The Strength card, the Knight of Cups, and the Emperor, Cancer. Very much an energy of somebody who is trying to um, control their emotions. With the Knight of Cups, this is someone who very much wants to um flirt or be loving or you know caring towards their person i feel like this is your energy cancer with this emperor i feel like you are you know trying to control your emotions because uh cancer with this um strength card here you know you are trying to you're really trying to keep yourself from doing what you really want to do <laughs> and what you know is not really the best. You know, it's not good to contact this person um, right now. So, 
you are doing you are working overtime trying to control your emotions and that's what that two of pentacles energy is all about cancer underneath the deck we have the king of cups cancer this is you cancer you still love this person but you know that you need to distance yourself from this energy because of what this person did okay this person hurt you disrespected you um and you need your distance right now so let's see tell us about the two of pentacles let's see if you're gonna forgive this person tell us about this two of pentacles please holy spirit angels and guides well we have the four of wands cancer so this definitely could be a twin flame that you're dealing with but the four of wands talks about committed energy um, or a higher level of commitment cancer underneath the deck you have the knight of wands and the knight of wands is someone who um, is very independently um, moved like this person moves independently they do what they want to do you know on their they move at their own dime cancer um, And they can't be forced into a corner for sure um, they can't be forced into a corner so whatever it is I feel like cancer you are going to forgive this person at your own pace you are not going to be forced by this person if you decide to should you decide to cancer it is going to be at your own pace okay all right, moving on to Pisces at 26.54. Now we are going to go pretty quick here, Cancers. We have the Eight of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands in the reverse. And then we have the Star in the reverse and the Ten of Swords in the reverse, Cancer. So, Cancers, if you are dealing with the Pisces, um, this is overall an energy of somebody who, you know, they were working on things or working on themselves, Cancer, and I feel like this person just gave up. Um, with the Eight of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands, this is an energy of somebody who is working on, you know, themselves. They are... Um, learning things cancer they are studying they are making money um going back to school fixing themselves doing self um teaching themselves trades or doing self-help cancer or um just anything to fix themselves up or to level up in life right this person is trying to make themselves better um with the seven of wands in the reverse this is an energy of someone who is um giving up like this person has been fighting the fight cancer and it's like this person has decided it's too much i can't fight anymore i i can't and they just give up the star in the reverse cancer is an energy of somebody who has lost faith they have lost faith um but with the Ten of Swords here in the reverse, this person wants to heal. Sorry, I can't pick this up today. See that? This, this card is the Everything is Fine card, but it's in the reverse, Cancer. Um, everything is not fine, but this person wants things to get better so let's clarify here what's happening cancer it's almost like there's an energy of the two of you are having issues or either there's some fighting going on cancer um and i feel like somebody has just given up and decided they no longer want to fight 
because they don't see anything in the connection. This person no, is, no longer has any faith in the connection, Cancer, but, but somebody does. Who is it? Tell us about the Eight of Pentacles, please. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Tell us about this Eight of Pentacles, please. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Tell us, okay. And we have the Six of Wands. Cancer, this is an energy of someone who... This person is working on themselves because... Cancer, I feel like this is an energy of someone who is feeling like they are insignificant or incompetent in the relationship or someone who is trying to better themselves. Um, yeah, this person is trying to better themselves, Cancer, with the Six of Wands. You know, this person wants to be recognized as successful here um underneath the deck you have the six of swords cancer sixes represent starting over okay and with the six of swords this is an energy of someone who is you know pretty much leaving cancer leaving a situation um and going to a more tranquil situation that's less stressful um and with this eight of pentacles here i feel like there's an energy cancer of you left or someone left the connection because someone wasn't either earning enough money cancer or they just weren't at the status of whatever the other person felt like their potential was take it how it resonates cancer but i'm telling you right now that is what i am seeing here and i feel like somebody just gave up cancer they just gave up trying because it was like they couldn't please this person it's like they couldn't please this person. Tell me about the seven of wands in the reverse. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. And we have the two of cups, Cancer. See, this is a strong soul tie connection. Um, this was a pair, Cancer. This was a... Uh, and you have... This is the Queen of Pentacles here. Cancer, I feel like when this person just gave up, I feel like this person... This person felt a lot of love for this person. They did. I feel like their feelings were really hurt by this cancer. I mean, because that would be really hurtful. That would be really hurtful. Um, you know, to leave someone when they were down on on money or down on their luck to just kind of leave this person was in a very sensitive vulnerable energy here very vulnerable um tell us about the star please in the reverse oh and i have the cards upside down tell us about the star in the reverse oh and look cancer the Empress here. That is your energy. That is your energy, Cancer. I feel like you were the one that was left by this Pisces, Cancer, underneath the deck. Look, we have the Four of Cups, Cancer. Very much your energy. This is somebody who is disconnected. 
someone who is just I feel like this person is just very discontent with whatever this person is offering right now and this is very much your energy cancer like you don't trust this person you don't trust this person this person is reaching back out to you after walking out they are reaching back out to you after walking out but you have zero faith in this person or the connection tell me about this ten of swords in the reverse look knight of pentacles in the reverse cancer what did i tell you you this is an energy of someone who has been very irresponsible this person gambled with your feelings gambled with your emotions they played games with you cancer they played games with you underneath the deck look at what we have the justice card now they are facing their karma cancer now you don't want to have anything to do with them and look this looks like she's putting up the deuces this is the empress putting up the deuces and look at the four of cups like i don't want you anymore i am good and abundant on my own i no longer have faith in you with the star in the reverse cancer you're pretty much letting this person this pisces know all right, Cancer, that is the end of the message. I love you guys so much. I'll be coming back with air signs coming up next. I love you. Take care. Bye.